Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with some more math today. Here's the problem we're going to be doing today, just uh, finding dy dx using implicit differentiation, given the fact that we have e to the x squared y equals x plus y. So notice this x squared and y are all within this exponent here. So let's go ahead and jump into it, and I'll show you the steps how to solve this problem. So like any other implicit differentiation problem where we're given that we have to find dy dx, all we want to do to start is take the derivative of both sides of our equation with respect to x. We're taking with respect to x because we have dx in our denominator here. So that indicates that we want to do d dx of both sides of our equation. Okay. So this left side is going to be, you know, somewhat complicated because we have a couple things that we're going to have to do. First of all, we have to do chain rule because we have a bunch of stuff kind of stuck within this exponent here. And then to find the derivative of just the stuff within the power, we're gonna to have to do product rule. So <clears throat> let's kind of work our way from the outside in. So what I mean by that is, first we wanna think of taking the derivative of e to all this stuff. So remember the derivative of e to the x with respect to x is just e to the x. So as a result, if we're taking the derivative of e to all this stuff by chain rule, that says that we're going to do the derivative of the outside, which if we're going to call x squared plus y our inside function, taking the derivative of the outside and leaving the inside alone by chain rule says that we'll end up with e to the x squared y because the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So the outside part isn't really going to change anything. But then by chain rule, we need to multiply this by the derivative of the inside, which is x squared y. Okay. <clears throat> so now to find the derivative of the inside, which is the x squared y, we're going to have to do product rule here. So product rule says that we would do the derivative of the, of the first piece, which is 2x times the second plus the first piece left alone times the derivative of the second. The derivative of our second piece, which is y, with respect to x, is just going to be dy dx. So this here is the derivative of x squared y. So let's just go ahead and replace d dx of x squared y with all this. So by chain rule, we did derivative of the outside, which gave us the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So that really didn't change anything because chain rule says to leave the inside alone and then multiply the whole thing by the derivative of our inside. Our inside was just x squared y and this by using product rule is the derivative of x squared y. So now this is going to be equal to the derivative of the right side of our equation, which is just the derivative of x with respect to x is just one. And then the derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. So our right side is just 1 plus dy dx. So now just like we do, you know, generally with implicit differentiation problems, once we've taken the derivative of both sides with respect to x, now what we want to do is kind of expand everything out and simplify everything so that we can start sorting out our dy dx terms from our non dy dx terms. So to do that, the first thing we want to do is just, uh, you know, expand everything out. So that means we'll take this term here and we'll distribute it throughout our parentheses to each of these two terms here. So doing that will give us 2xy times e to the x squared y. And then multiplying each of these to this would give us plus x squared d dy dx times e to the x squared y. And then there's really nothing to expand or simplify over here. So we'll just leave it as 1 plus dy dx. Okay. So now what we want to do is look at our equation and figure out which terms have dy dx in them and which terms don't. And we want to get all of our dy dx terms on one side of our equation and all of our non dy dx terms on the other side. So you can see we have this term here, which has dy dx in it, and this term here, which has dy dx in it. And then 
this term does not have a dy dx and neither does this one. So we'll go ahead and move our dy dx terms over to the left side of our equation and then our non dy dx terms to the right side. So doing that, this term will stay because it has a dy dx. This term we will move over to the other side. So that just means we'll have to subtract dy dx from both sides of our equation. And then we'll just subtract dy dx over here. And then this term here does not have a dy dx, so we'll have to subtract it over to the other side of our equation. So once we subtract it over to the other side, it won't be left over here anymore. So over on our left side, we'll just have x squared dy dx e to the x squared y and then we've just subtracted over this dy dx to our left side and then over on the other side of our equation this one was still left over here and now we've just subtracted over 2xy e to the x squared y so now that's over on the right side of our equation so now you can see that both of our terms over here have a dy dx in them, and both of our terms over here do not have a dy dx in them. So now what we can do is factor out dy dx from the entire left side of our equation so that we'll only have one dy dx, and then it'll be easier to solve for. Before I do that, I'm just gonna rewrite this up at the top of the board here. Okay, so now, we can go ahead and factor out dy dx from our entire left side of the equation, which will leave us with these two terms within the parentheses, which would just be this term. But if you take out the dy dx, you're just left with x squared e to the x squared y. And then you want to think about for this, what would we have to multiply by if we distributed this dy dx back in, what would this have to multiply dy dx times what would give us dy dx? It would just be one, right? When you factor out you know, an entire term, you have to put a one to kind of be a placeholder for it. So we're just gonna have all this stuff minus one. And then over on the right side of our equation, we didn't do anything. So we'll just leave it as is. Okay, so now we just have dy dx multiplied by all this stuff right here. If we want to move that over to the other side of our equation, all we have to do is divide both sides of our equation by this entire thing within the parentheses here. So if we divide both sides by all this, and then over here, we're going to divide it by that also, x squared e to the x squared y minus 1. So we're just going to be left with dy dx equals 1 minus 2xy e to the x squared y over x squared e to the x squared y minus 1. So this minus 1 is not in the exponent. So if you haven't already, you should go check out my other implicit differentiation problems. You can see a link to the playlist right here where I have put all of them in there. Um, so this will wrap up our uh, implicit differentiation week. So I hope it was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And uh, make sure you subscribe. We're going to be having another uh, week of uh, a themed week, you know, starting tomorrow. So subscribe, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any. Hope to see you back soon.